what's going on gamers welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be going over what investments can help you make millions and millions of stubs in mlb the show 22 drop a thumbs up on the video it helps with the algorithm make sure that you are subscribed with your notifications on let's get into today's breakdown if you want to complete every collection super super fast head over to my sponsor and use code fat for five percent off your order super fast and reliable all right so the first thing we're going to do is go over the marketplace and who you should be going after that is at the cheapest value but has the most potential to make you a lot of stubs okay if you enjoy these breakdowns if you enjoy everything on this channel as far as XP glitches, stub making methods, and more opportunities to become better at MLB The Show 22, go ahead and subscribe right now. All right, the first person we're going to look at right now is Owen Miller. I said this earlier, but his value is still low and he has an opportunity to go up a lot of stubs. Right now, he's at 255 stubs. Currently in the MLB, he has seven doubles, two home runs, and seven RBIs. He's betting a 500. He's leading the MLB with the best betting average, okay? So, another good card for you to invest in is Max Fry. He just had an outstanding game as a pitcher. In his last game, he pitched seven full innings. He gave up zero earn runs two hits and he had eight strikeouts for 469 stubs you can get him for i will go ahead and get 12 to 13 of them that's an investment that i was doing now let's look at the quick sell chart so you can see exactly what i'm talking about all right so looking at this quick sell chart for this year okay max fried is an 80 overall right now he's going for about 60 stubs over the quick sell value so if he gets a plus to upgrade that would be about 450 to 500 stubs that you would make on every single investment okay now over the quick sell if he goes up to a 83 84 overall he might start getting closer to the 3000 4000 stub range so in that case you would be making almost a 3000 stub profit on each and every investment what you are looking for when you are dealing with golds is to catch them cheap around 400 stubs or below and then hoping that they go up to 83 or 85 overall sooner or later because at an 85 overall if you hold him for two roster investments he will be a 3,000 stub quick sell or you can catch him when he's at his highest price and sell him for about 46 to 4,700 stubs. That would be over a 4,000 stub profit on each investment. All right, so getting back into the breakdown. If you look at my completed orders, you can see Eric Hosmer. I invested into him, 79 stubs right here. I invested into the Max Frieds. I invested into David Peraltas, Albert Pujols, Darren O'Day. I also invested into a few Cal Lewis's and I invested into some Aaron Lopes. These are a lot of silvers. So when the next Nike City Connects comes out, like I showed you in yesterday's video, you can make a lot of stubs off of it. Now, another key way, we're going to go through the silvers. I'm going to show you something that you need to pay attention to that's very important. If you go to 75 overall to 79 overall, I'm going to show you something. Go to live series and then you click on this. 79 overall, Nelson Cruz is going for 1,520 stubs. Kevin is going for 1,300 stubs. CJ Crine is a very good investment. He should be diamond in the next two roster updates, going for 1,496 stubs. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because there's a very, very easy trick for you to be able to have an opportunity to get these cards that are very, very high. If you go through these silvers, like I showed you, Josh Bell, 1,421. If you go through here, Corey Kluber, 1,300. You can get these cards for less than 270 stubs by using another method. If you go down here to collect, you go to exchanges. You go here to exchange and you take all your bronze players exchange them to silvers okay so i'm gonna go to the shop my packs and you can see i have 25 silvers waiting closer to the announcement of the roster update 
I'm gonna pop these open. I'm probably gonna make another 25 or 30 more. That's gonna give me over 55 chances to pull some of them high silvers before they translate over to the gold. So if I'm spending 30 stubs to make this pack with each card, you're gonna put in nine to 11 different cards. That's gonna be 270 to 330 stubs to make one pack all total okay 270 to 330 stubs to make one pack and if you pull one of the higher cards 1100 1200 1300 stubs you are making an 800 profit on each and every card that you flip if you pull one of the lower silvers and you spend 270 stubs you are almost breaking even a lot of them are going to go for 50 to 70 stub profit so you're still going to have a chance to make stubs but you pull one of the higher cards you're going to be walking away with bank and we're going to do the same thing with the gold we're going to do the same thing with the diamonds so stay tuned to this channel if you want to make a lot of stubs also my sponsor down in the link in the description is the fastest way to complete collections and help your favorite youtuber out at the same time very cheap and the best way to get stubs very very cheap without being banned let's go